Ice and warm temperatures, a wonderful combination. But it doesn't last very long. Why am I telling you this? Because about 70% of all fresh water on Earth is frozen. I'm standing on top of a large freshwater reservoir. Switzerland's glaciers contain four times as much water as Lake Lucerne. The Swiss Alps are sometimes dubbed the Water Tower of Europe. But now the Swiss glaciers are melting, and by the end of the century they could be gone. We're researching how glaciers change and what the consequences are. What solutions we can come up with to solve the problem. Frozen ground is called permafrost. When it thaws, it can become unstable and may cause landslides or rockfall. In Antarctica, the Arctic and even the Himalayas, there are larger glaciers than in the Alps. We make expeditions to understand them better. We bring back snow samples for testing in our labs. Snow is constantly changing. It may be hard and dense, or crumble like sugar. At altitude it turns into fern and later into glacial ice. The snowpack stores water from the winter and releases it during the summer. The snow cover serves as a natural blanket for animals, plants and the soil. It's also a base for skiing and snowboarding. And it can quickly turn into a dangerous avalanche. That's exactly why we want to understand how snow and ice behave and what will happen when there's less or even no snow. What do you think? Should we switch to hiking or keep skiing on slopes covered with artificial snow? <laughs>